Welcome back to Winging It Buffalo Style. If the wintry weather has had you cooped up in the house all day and you're looking for a fun outing for your kids, today's hot sauce has you covered. We'll even give you a little bit of an activity to show with your kids, maybe if you need to keep them <laughs> occupied a little bit. The Buffalo Architecture Foundation has given young students a chance to shine and will now be displaying their work at the SEPA Gallery, the Architecture and Education Program exhibit. Today we're joined by Lindsey Graff of the Buffalo Architecture Foundation to talk about this pretty exciting event. So let's get into what you've done with the kids so far that you're going to be shown because you have some examples um, right here in front of their artwork. Sure, yep. So we've worked with 20 classrooms in the Buffalo Public Schools and this is just a few examples of a fourth grade class at School 64 and basically every student works uh, with an architect, all volunteers. We have 23 volunteer architects that come in and they work with the kids and um, in the end they each build a project and they're all going to be on display at the gallery um, the 10th through the 24th of the SEPA gallery. Now, I think this is really interesting because I think at face value you think architecture might seem a little boring for kids, but then you have these flashbacks of Lincoln Logs and Connects, and mm -hmm. kids are you know, very creative and they're, they tend to just be super excited about this, correct? Exactly, and what they don't know is that they're actually learning their subjects too. So the teachers and the architects work together to create a unique curriculum that works with the Common Core curriculum. So they're learning what they would typically be learning anyways, just in a fun way, and then they're also learning about our local architecture and our local local communities and local history. And so. to show how you know they're learning through fun, you brought a little mm -hmm. bit of an activity, and this is perfect because I know there's a lot of parents that have their kids cooped up in the house, off from school, so you can do something that's a little bit educational. So what are we doing yes, right here? Yes, absolutely. So this is toothpicks and marshmallows. So and we need toothpicks, toothpicks and little marshmallows. and marshmallows. And what we're doing is we're creating space frames. And so what's important that we teach the kids is that there are some shapes that are stronger than others. So a triangle is a lot stronger, and that's why you see that bridges are made out of a series of triangles called trusses. To, you know the square which might seem deceivingly exactly stronger. opposed to a square which you can see just isn't as strong so we're gonna build we're gonna build one right now all if right. We want so basically all you do is just build a triangle connect with the marshmallows and the toothpicks and then we're also learning about how you can take a two-dimensional shape and you can build it into a three-dimensional shape and I can imagine just that building it up kids will also get to eat some of these marshmallows if yes. they're doing it at home which is a plus. <laughs> so Absolutely. while we're doing this, let's talk about the exhibit because you're going to be showcasing not only some of the students' designs and artwork, but mm -hmm. also models. So what's Absolutely. happening at the SEBA Gallery? Absolutely. So at the SEBA Gallery, we have 500 pieces of work. Um, we have four floors. And basically, it's every student that participated in the program has their work in the gallery. Um, we're working right now hard to through the weather to set it up. Um, so Friday, it's a very well attended event, um, the opening. Um, and just, it's very inspiring to see what the kids have created, the creativity and the passion that they have um, come forth with through learning about architecture. And it's I can really imagine great. for parents, we're gonna pull up a panel of when it's happening, it is mm -hmm. opening this Friday. I can imagine for parents, it's gonna inspire them, you know, to find other ways to not only entertain their kids, but also educate them with architecture. Absolutely. So, absolutely. you know, we're, let's talk about what the kids are learning through architecture. What are some of the basic skills that this is teaching them? Because I think that's, you know, the main sure. reason you're doing it, right? Right. So, um, we're working in preschool through eighth grade. So, the preschool classes, um, they're focusing a lot on patterns. So, we have one class that's building a, the Olmstead tree, and each of, the, each of the leaves will incorporate a different pattern that they're learning about. We have a third grade class that's building a village using empathy designing for a client that has a disability and we have an eighth grade class that's learning about the industrial revolution so they're building tenements and factories so and for people out there that want to learn a little bit more about the Buffalo Architecture Foundation mm -hmm. and maybe how they can teach their kids a little bit about that where can they go for more information sure they can go to www.buffaloarchitecture.org and the whole website has um, a few different programs that the foundation runs but there's a lot of architecture and education programs that are coming up all right and if you're watching this and you and your kids are creating little toothpick uh, marshmallow masterpiece post them on our Facebook page we'd love to see them but we're gonna change gears from technology and architecture 